Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, on the bench, we got a pair of Cratons. Mmm, mm, that's the good stuff. All right, everyone, welcome back. So, cool. Today, oh, this is interesting. So I got this foam stuff here. I already put it on one vehicle. I'm, I'm gonna put it on here to try to help with this. Uh, where the body is. I guess I'll just put it on the body itself. I guess that would probably work better than me trying to. Cause you can see right here and here. So if you're interested in this, this right here is just one eighth thick foam. It's very nice foam. It'll be down in my Amazon store under the RC cars. Nice thing, this is already just self-adhesive. Just peel and stick. I'm gonna put right there, and then hopefully this should help. And the reason I didn't go thicker is I didn't want to have problems getting the, the body on later. So we shall see. I don't think one eighth shouldn't be that thick. But you know. Let's see. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, so it's uh this body here looks going back first. But yeah, it uh that does fine. Matter of fact, I think I have some body protectors. I do, but they're kind of white and that would I don't think that would look very good. All right, so there, there's that. Now, next thing we gotta do, I need to get my uh, the DX5 here bound to it. But matter of fact, while we're doing this, let's fix the uh, the Creighton's got the same issue here. Oh, look at that, man! It's already wore. Wore through the paint. I think I'm gonna need a bigger piece for that. You know, on this one, I'm just gonna do the RC itself. Cause I think that's gonna be easier. Alrighty. I do wish the manufacturers would make an easy access to the programming button on the receiver. Traxxas does have a little rubber plug you can pull out now. It's kind of hit and miss with that, as if uh, if you're gonna make it. For the most part, you can usually get in there if you need to. <sighs> that fan does not sound too good. I don't want to check the steering now. It is moving a little bit without moving the wheel. Yeah, it's actually moving the servo, so we need to. There we go. That 90% seems to be the sweet spot. Oh boy. Alright. Let's remove the proper fan. <laughs> Well, I mean, it seems to be okay, so. Just gets a little noisy when it's down there, and that's normal when fans start getting a little feedback. Kind of like when they start getting someplace and they're pushing air, and it kind of, I guess, blows back into itself, kind of, so. Well, I think we're done with the old 6S here. We got... The fan looked at, we got it bound to the new remote, and we got our endpoint set. Heck yeah. Let's bring the outcast over here for a second. 
I did add some foam strips right there because I did see where this piece was starting to run through. So let's just double check, make sure we still got plenty of clearance with the body. Yeah, it's actually holding pretty nice. All right, I think it's gonna work out. Oh, you can see just a little in there. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out good. That foam. What is by far the heaviest RC I have? Woo! All right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put that foam on these mounts right here. Man, look at the difference. <laughs> the ADA stuff. Look, I mean, look at this fan. That last fan was like little tiny. Look at this thing. You know, I said something about the XRT. How I could spin this before it would take up the drivetrain and look and move. See, I guess it's just normal. Is this thing huh. okay? But I do have some worn parts on that. The drive cups are worn, so we will have those coming. Will it be on this video? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not going to worry about that piece because I believe the body has that piece right there, the body. Okay. All right, I got pieces front and back on all four. So now let's see if that helped. Uh, that helped. Okay, yeah, so I could still easily get the pins on here. But yeah, that's the important thing to check on is when you... uh do this now the front did bring it up a good bit here so it's gonna be a little bit tighter yeah it is gonna make it really hard on the front but look at that once you but I think through time it's gonna compress a little bit too so it should it should help and I wish I would have done this before I got the bulge in the body but it is what it is I do need to do a rundown on this thing and check for loose plates and screws and stuff. Mm. All right, next up, uh, baby Creighton. Uh, this one, oh boy, we got some work to do on this. I need to check the center diff to see if it's got fluid. I was looking, the factory calls for 500K, which I don't have, and I'm not gonna open this up until I actually have it in my hands. So, I'll go ahead and order, and we'll come back, but for now, I do wanna get this, my transmitter bound to it. Alrighty, that is done. Wait, you don't even have to take the power button off. Just the two screws there in the middle. Which, a matter of fact, Arm is real bad about not greasing that gasket. You know what, actually, yeah. I need to open this up. Because if it is full of fluid, then I know I need to run something thicker. So, ah. Uh, Let's do it. Let's... Look, I've only run this vehicle once. Once. And there's a ton of sand in here. There's like a lot. So that's not uh I mean man, look at this. That's a lot of freaking dirt. That's here with the gears. Wow. I might just be putting some tape or something over that hole because I mean I just don't see any benefit of the damn gear sticking out like that. If it's gonna be doing this, that's crazy. Man, it already feels like it's in the damn bearing too. Man, that's not where you want a whole bunch of sand to be living. And if it did it that just on one run. Wow. Wow, man. 
second bearing right there. It's just coated in sand. That's crazy, because you can... You can hear it. I mean, how do you... I ran one battery pack to this vehicle, like literally one battery pack. Oh my god, wow. Maybe I'll use this video. I'll just warranty these things. And swap bearings. Put that one in here so that way you can. This one's not as bad as that one, but if these things are sealed, why are they why are they crunching like that? I mean, I know how to clean them. I know I can pull the seal out and we can clean them, but I shouldn't have to do that on a car that's got one run on it. I don't know. There's something in here. I don't know if it's paint or what did they put some in here to see if people were in the diff already for warranty purposes wow it's kind of dry look at that there ain't nothing in there maybe some Yeah, guys, look. I mean, there's almost nothing right there. You can see down to the dang bottom. Wow, this. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and button this thing back up for now. I will contact Horizon or Arma. See what they want to do with this. Maybe they'll just send me some diff fluid or a new diff I don't know but I definitely I just want some bearings but I'm not too happy this thing is dry so I'll go ahead and wrap it up or if not wrap it up but I'm going to pause it here and uh, I'll check back in with you uh, I'm not even going to show it's not worth it but I do got some these body clips here which I'm going to swap out on that body just to make it a little bit easier get that on and off well we got some unboxing to do in the meantime uh man the beginning of this year has not been good to me been sick the uh, daughter-in-law came over uh, she was sick got home said that she went to work the next day and tested for the flu hey you know, i mean the wife are sick <laughs> uh, check it out got some 4s that's for the uh yeah, what i get them for <laughs> the the 4s uh man what are you the crane oh wow i'm telling you man my mind's about there this really sucked because school's been out uh and where i fly is like a high school sports field and i was really gonna take advantage to get some flying done <coughs> But I haven't been able to do that. All right, got some little airplane parts here. Uh, so my little tail dragger, I landed it. It, it caught something and nose down and kind of chewed up this little foam piece on the front. So I figured I might need to have a couple of those. They're cheap enough. All right, here's the parts. To get Earl back up and well running 100% got the drive cups here for the XRT so no 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 I'm just gonna leave them here for now up here would be the Traxxas collection oh look at that I got why well, I got so many pinion gears 
I have no idea. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> okay. And this, uh, kind of my stupidity, I don't know. I couldn't figure out why the XRT had so much play in it. So I went on the Jenny's RC and I just got a bunch of parts. So basically what I was going to do is just take the XRT apart, put these pieces in, and then uh, rebuild them at my leisure. Because it's such a big RC to have it apart, take the differentials apart and rebuild it. You know, I, I don't have too much space. I probably should look at maybe, exp well I can't because the door's here. And I can only go with so far here. Maybe one day we'll get a little bigger workshop with. For Jenny's RC, you got two brand new diffs, the front and rear, and then uh, I believe this is like the center diff. Yeah, so I was just gonna throw new parts in it, and then that way if I took a diff apart and there was something broken in there, I could order the part, take my time. Oh, that's right, I got a whole uh, center drive shaft here too. I didn't know. Well, actually, I think it was a whole package deal. Yeah. They had the whole big package deal. The center drive shaft. Oh, look at that. Speed gearing. Which I didn't get. Oh, no, I did get it because I, I ordered something from them. So, look. There's the center diff. And the whole cush drive. And the front and rear. It's... A little bit of everything in here this was actually a good deal okay so you got these two bearings here which i believe are f oh, i forget but you have a bearing here on the drive and you got the pin there so let's stick that in there before we lose that so there's your you got the, the front and rear spur gears the drive for here. This is what drives these. Another gear assembly. And then the uh, actual center diff. Brand new bearings, everything. So it wasn't a bad deal. It's, it's not hard to rebuild that stuff, but I figure, you know, you never know what's going to happen when you open these things up. Could be something smashed in there. And I figured I would just open the XRT up. Throw those pieces in there, and uh, I'll rebuild at my leisure. So, turned out <coughs> it was just a drive cup. So, no biggie. I'm pretty sure at some point in time I will need these pieces. It's either gonna be for that or the uh, X Max. So, pretty nice looking battery there. I'm gonna try that out on the Outcast or the Creighton. And I'm going to see if this will make it go faster than the two 3S packs. Now, when I was ordering the battery pack, I went here to the owner's manual. And this is interesting. So as you know, the Outcast is shorter. 515 millimeters to 547. Now, with that being said, why is the battery tray longer in the Outcast? It says it's 165 millimeters, 6.49 inches where the battery tray on the Creighton is 1.5 is 156 millimeters, 6.14. That doesn't make any sense. So we need to look at that. That's that doesn't make any sense. I think they got that backwards. I don't I dropped the body. I scared the cat. The cat was trying to run out. The corgi was trying to intercept, and they were. <laughs> okay. I think too. I'm gonna. I'm taking. I think I'm gonna take this apart. I. I don't like this because you can't. I mean, I like the concept. Of it, but man, I don't know. It just makes. It's so heavy. And you can't just like put your battery things like out of the way to do stuff. So I know I could use a caliper thing for more precise, but dude, no way. It's not even six inches. 
it is if you take that piece out it would be just under six and a quarter right which is what 6.1 which would be about, about six and an eighth how in the world that doesn't make any sense that the outcast battery tray is six and a half which would be here I don't I don't understand how that's even possible how at six and a half inches it would be to where this pin is where did they get the room that hmm But what does fit is this, and it fits in there nicely. So. Now I know I saw people complain about this strap here. That the feet don't fit their battery. But I think you have to. You would have to really have such a such a narrow battery for that not to fit. I mean, this this isn't a wide battery, but what it's designed for is that's there, so that way it's gaps, so that way you can feed that. But and you kind of had this problem here that this thing they're so close, <laughs> it's it's kind of pointless to have that. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, just as long as you got one strap down, it's going to be okay. So check it out. If you guys are interested, I'll put these batteries in my uh, Amazon store for you. It helps the channel out tremendously if you shop through there. But 7,200 milliamp hour, 4S. Hell, I could probably even... <coughs> Hell, I'll probably do that. And that way that can hold that down and then I can just plug this into here yeah that's gonna work out nice got a little wiggle room but it's okay so let me know in the comments down below how does the longer wheelbase the longer chassis have a smaller battery compartment or did they screw up the battery measurements on the outcast I mean, you guys can see it right here. Creighton, 547 millimeters. Outcast is 515. Everything else is like, oh, the height. Creighton, yeah, the Outcast is a little taller. Wheelbase, 355, 313. But look at the battery tray. Length, 156 to 165. They're both the same width and height. I don't understand how that can be longer on a shorter... I don't know. Boggles my mind. Disconnect. Disconnect that. It does actually look like there. It looks like it's going to be a a point of uh for this stuff to rub. That's what it looks like it's already doing. Like it's just gonna rub through. Hmm. That's not gonna be good. Oh, it sucked. I charged up so many batteries. So many. But what I was gonna do is head out to the skate park. And then there's also a uh, RC car track right next door. So I was gonna bring a whole bunch of vehicles, film, like one video bashing one car at the skate park then another one and another one and it, this would give me like five or six videos right and then i would shoot a couple of these running on the track but <coughs> it's raining as you guys can hear i hope that's not too bad i know it's I, I what i plan on doing sometime this year when it warms up a little bit is get that spray foam insulation and treat everything i know once i do the roof it should really help but what I'm curious on this is, can I bind the DX5 
to that. Nah, I guess not. I'm not gonna talk to it. Oh well. It was worth a shot. That's all I got for you right now. I am still waiting to hear back from Horizon. Kind of disappointed. Uh, I want to know what's going on with this diff. If they're gonna warranty or do whatever. I'm serious. I'm probably just gonna get the the fast eddy bearings. If this is gonna be a, but I do want to put new bearings in. Just tape underneath the chassis and see if that'll keep the dirt out. If that doesn't work, then yeah, I'm probably gonna get the fast eddy bearings. Throw them in there. But. I don't want to end this video till I hear from that and we get a resolution for that. So stand by. Hey, if you're still here in the at this far in the video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sorry, I try not to make these videos this long. I know other channels routinely make videos this long and, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't know if people are staying for that long. I mean, but basically you look at analytics and 10 minutes seems to be about, you know, where people start dropping off. So try i'm gonna try harder to make shorter videos i promise uh, it's just kind of hard when you're here on the bench and you film something in a short and then you wait for something else and then next thing you know you're editing it's like oh wow this thing's like 30 minutes and i, I try not to especially because i do subtitles so i have to go through the entirety of the 30 minutes of english transcript to clean it up so when i do the auto translate into all foreign languages it's not horrible i try to make it the best i can so for me it's a lot of work but before I end, I want to give you an update. Talk to Horizon Hobby. They're going to be sending me out some new bearings. They're going to send a new slipper clutch, which is back order. So they said when that comes in, they will send me a new slipper clutch. But in the meantime, they're going to send me a container of the fluid to put into the uh, I said slipper clutch. The uh, differential. It's not a slipper clutch in the crate. Uh, they did away with the uh, center diff. They're sending me a new center diff and they're going to send me fluid to put in there for the time being until a new center diff comes. So shout out to Horizon. I've always had great customer service. I know some people have said they haven't, but for me, anytime I've ever reached out to them, it's it's been great. I took a, a small shot from this video and sent it to them where they could hear the bearings grinding. They could see all the sand in the case. And then when I opened up that center diff, you could see how dry it is. So I just wanted to end with that, and I'm going to stop rambling. Guys, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Help a brother out, all right? Uh, I'm trying to make some shorter videos for you, 10, 15 minutes. I promise I'm trying to get this uh, routine down. And then we got some great videos. I definitely want to do some flying. I've been sick. My head hasn't been into it, so you really got to be on top of it with the planes. But I got a lot of videos I've been shooting as far as, like, uh, taking... <clears throat> the rc cars out and, and running them and stuff like that so we got some repairs we got some new stuff coming let me know in the comments down below what more stuff do you want to see or what's your favorite part of the stuff that i put out of the channel all right let me know because i want to try to make content that i know everybody's interested in appreciate the support thanks for watching hope to see you on the next one